people trending. I'm trending. We trending. Yo, it's Ace the Train God, yours truly. One question. Do you set trends or you follow them? <laughs> if you want the trap babies in there, you already know we setting them. We ain't following nothing. But anyway, I'm back again with some breaking news. Unfortunately, well, if you a fan or rock with Thug, Gunna, YSL, like I do, then I say unfortunately. Uh, more breaking news. Uh, it ain't looking good for my boy, man. It's looking real spooky out there. Uh, news just came in on top of the, the Rico charge that he was hit with. <clears throat> he got seven more charges added. And, you know, I took some notes for y'all. Damn, man, I'm the train guy. I, I really need to get this edged up. Like, bear with me, y'all. I, mean, I know it look crazy right now. You know, I'm going to get that lined up for y'all. But anyway, I'm just saying, I can't be the train guy. I got to have it lined up. I'm a train guy. But anyway, I wrote some notes for y'all, man, because, you know, it's a lot of information to uh, take in right now. And it's looking spooky for my boy. Like, first of all, the indictment, it's 150 counts of criminal activity in this indictment. Right. The indictments of 28 people allegedly connected to Young yeah, Slime Life, a to, criminal street gang associated with the blood. The indictment or claim Rico on you, they have to have, it had to be like a related, affiliate, orchestrated crimes committed or influenced under that act for it to be uh, called Rico. Like, and it came from the real Rico. If you don't know what I'm talking about, young kids, it's from the 80s. Watch Peyton Ford, it's a real movie, watch that. It's based off of that. But anyway, they claim, this where it get tricky at. This is, no, let me check it out for y'all. This is where it get tricky. Let me read this, what I got on my screen. All right, trap ladies and my trap babies, check it out. Now, I already told you, like, on top of the RICO, they added seven more charges to him, right? By which, like, earlier today, man, he uh, went for his hearing for bond, but as you can guess, they denied it, you know? They're trying to act like he's a man to society or whatever. And, um, I mean, the prosecutors, man, they, they bringing the artillery, man, like, for real, like, it's World War Five out here, man. Like, they bringing all type of evidence on them, like, like, they got allegedly i say that they claim that he's committed young thug jeffrey williams committed allegedly 30 or more crimes under the rico act spending from the year 2013 to 2021 like 2012 was basically when he basically got on you know what i'm saying so that's when they trying to say that's when he started all this or whatever and he funded it through his music career, you know? That's what he's trying to say. But they ain't, they ain't only got gunning with just a Rico. Not just a Rico, because a Rico is a lot to have, but it's kind of more like theft or like affiliation. You know what I'm saying? He is not as just dramatic as Thugs was because Thugs is the boss. You know what I'm saying? But um, they use lyrics from his songs. Like, take it to trial with him, yet gunning, gunner. They use uh, gunner lyrics off of Fox 5. They use lyrics from old hits, like saying, I ain't uh, kill nobody, but I pay for the body, or I had something to do with the body, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, I can't say allegedly, because that's one of his songs, but allegedly that it has something to do with the murder. You know what I mean? Because I really hope he get out of this, you know? I really rock with him, but I don't have no business with none of that. This is simply for y'all. I don't know who did what. I'm just simply giving y'all the news, you heard? All my trap babies and trap ladies. But anyway, unfortunately, if convicted, him and Gunner could be facing life, you know? Gunner could be facing 20 years at least. And Thug could be facing multiple life sentences unfortunately which i hope you don't get you know um 
The most serious of the charges. Let me pull this up for y'all. What I wrote. The most serious of the charges are the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. Shot at an Atlanta barbershop. Which prosecutors allege YSL members Yak Gotti, a.k.a. Demonte Kendrick, and four other YSL members allegedly committed. Along with two separate other committed, uh, well, attempted murder, allegedly attempted murder charges for the same two, uh, well, I'm sorry, five defendants. Three days before that, allegedly Young Thug rented a silver Infinity sedan that was used in the alleged murder. So they say, allegedly, I'm going to just keep saying allegedly, because I, I hope that he ain't found guilty for none of this, but you know, I don't control none of that. And if you're from the streets, then you know how it is in the streets. Like, I actually feel uncomfortable even seeing this, but you know, this for the people, this for the culture. That's why I ain't getting too deep in it, because I'm really from the streets, and it's kind of like a Snitch thing, snitch thing to me, but you know, it is what it is, man. I'm just getting y'all tuned in, keeping y'all tuned in. And another thing that's spooky with it, man, I had I had the fast how they play these little wicked games. It's like they purposely knew that Young Thug and Y.F. Finn and Lucci was beefing with each other. Y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all know who Lucci is, but I know the young kids know who Lucci is. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all know. Heartless. Um, no, no better. Songs like that. You know what I mean? From his early days or whatever. When I first tapped into him or whatever. But anyway, they purposely knew that they was beefing, but they purposely put them in the same jail uh, facility. They put them in the same jail center. Like, they in the same one. And that's that's like playing a dangerous game. It's like they, they want you they want you trapped in a trap to trap each other. And then you're going to stay trapped or kill each other. Like, it, it's, it's a system. And it's crazy. Like, because, I mean, I don't know what he did, but they got all this evidence on him, like, Y'all got evidence y'all been holding on somebody for 10 such such years. If y'all know somebody really killed somebody, so y'all say, just to build a case, y'all continue to let them keep killing people before y'all come lock them up. Or y'all wait till somebody that grew up through poverty and all this kind of bullshit, they ain't had no choice but to live how they live and was forced to, to, to defend themselves because where a lot of this come from, because I'm from that, Y'all let them come from that when they had to do bad things and they grow and prosper. And when they finally get on, they do the right thing like they should as positive, good people. And then y'all want to get them. That's the thing that I don't, I don't rock with with this whole little thing right here. This shit is whack. You know what I'm saying? And the person they made the, the act over, God bless his soul, he ain't even here no more. And it's like, you ask me, let that charge be dead with the man that passed away. That invented that. You know what I mean? They feel like they were but you know, like, what be crazy be like, they love to show what you do when it's bad. Like, when you grow and you become a better person, they don't like to show that part. Well, you know what I'm saying? They don't like to glorify it for you. Like, I bet you ain't gonna remember this. And then, and we just woke up and went to the jail with the lawyer. And you know, DAs and on the prosecutors and, you know, the, the bond company, bonding companies and just got as many people as we can out, probably like 20 or 30 people. The rapper's label, YSL Records, shared this exclusive video showing the moment dozens of Fulton County inmates were released from the county jail. Watch this emotional reunion between a father and his young son. You never know what somebody been through, bro, and I understood when I just, it was people sitting out three, four years that can't get out of snitch about it but anyway by which Lucci already uh if y'all can remember last last year he was uh sending uh Axton could he get house arrest well allegedly they saying that three members from YSL was in the prison and they uh 
they was like prison or the jail where he at, wherever he at, like try to shank him or stab him or whatever. And allegedly they were YSL members of Young Thug and allegedly Young Thug orchestrated that. But they knew all of this and they still put him in the same facility together. But that's just my opinion. It, it don't make sense to me. But, you know, I mean, let me know what y'all think. Y'all leave a comment or whatever. You want more content like this? Subscribe to my channel. You know the links be at in them bios. You can go look down on the comments, copy and paste, whatever you want to do. And check out all my uh, social handles. And I'll be getting with y'all soon. You heard? And don't y'all say nothing about my haircut, man. I already know. No, man. I don't, don't want to hear nothing. Don't say nothing about it. <laughs> but anyway, Slate Bloomers. Trap babies, my trap ladies, stay humble and always stay training. Sure as truly, it's the train guy tuning out. Whole lot of train guys.